to give him a chance to farm uh, this morning. We're trying to get out here early. To beat the and heat. To beat the heat. Add it onto the uh, pig pen. Three more panels. And now the, the way that this system will work from here on out is we'll just start leapfrogging it. So we'll take those three panels, put it on that side. And it, the way we did it is just uh, with these style clips, if you remember from the first video, you can just push on them and they're spring clips so they come right off. So I took all of them off of this post here. Once I had this part set up, you just kind of hinge it in like a gate, let them walk right through it, push the pen, panel back, snap those clips in, you're done. We move the igloo over, move the feed pans over, the water, you're done. So the next step in the process is gonna be pulling these nine posts and these three panels. We'll put it on that side and we'll just keep leapfrogging it. As long as we attach these three panels to one of those panels, we can move them through this whole pen if need be uh, until we make our decision to put the fence across here. Once they get just a little bit bigger, that outside field fence does have um, hot wire on it. We will train them to that hot wire and that uh, bottom wire on that fence is actually only six inches high. We did it on purpose at that height for pigs. Um, and if we need to move it down, we can. But uh, what we plan on doing eventually is getting this side here from gate post to gate post fenced off. And I'm actually probably gonna swap that gate there out. That's a 12 foot gate. I'll probably move it to a 16 foot gate to match that front one. So I've got a 16 foot wide drive there. I'll put a gate on this side and then we'll do the same fence on that side with a 16 foot gate and a, uh, or at least a, a gate, I should say, not necessarily a 16 footer. Cause really all I need in these pens is a, a walk through, possibly an eight at the most. Then I can get the tractor in and do what I need to do to move things. Um, but worst case with these clips, if I do fencing like that, I can pop those clips roll the fence back, drive in, do what I got to do when the animals aren't in there. So, um, as you can tell, it's, it's pretty warm out here. Cause I mean, all I did was drive nine posts and put four clips per post on there. So it wasn't like it was strenuous work by no means. Um, it's just hot. I mean, we've got a heat index over 97 again today. Humidity is high. Dew points high. Um, you walk outside and you're ready to sweat. Uh, just standing there so um, with that being said if i'm sweating like this pigs don't sweat so they needed another place to get shade so the girls decided to turn that igloo just a little bit so that the sun wasn't going in the entrance as much when the sun starts. when the sun is starting to rise in the east um that away because around here most of our wind ends up coming in from the south and the west so that's why we kind of try to face our lean twos and everything either uh, northeast or north uh, to try to prevent that so except uh, for that one time when the the wind decided to go the other direction and yeah, we and come out here and the lean two up and it the, flipped the roof onto the ground and we had a cow standing in it it wasn't yeah, it wasn't pretty. <laughs> so, it does happen. Um, about all you can do is go out there and put it back on the ground and adjust what needs fixed and uh, move on. I mean, there's not much you can do about it at that point. It's already done, or as they say, you can't put the poop back in the horse, right? So, uh, <laughs> this pen that they just came out of wasn't too bad. Mm -hmm. spot that really kind of got bad and it wasn't the pig's fault this was the girl's fault the, i caught the girls out here running water in here underneath the water um so the pigs made a waller out of it um that's not their fault that's their nature if someone give them a pond to go in they're gonna go in it and they're gonna make it big enough for them to go in well so. uh, not not just the girls did it, but the nipple in the water got stuck up yeah. inside, so well, then it drained. They were out here with the garden hose on no, full I, doing it. I so know, but I'm just help. saying, well, also, I think the pigs also put the 
the nipple yeah. and it got stuck and that drained a lot of the water yeah. down too. So. But also, uh, the pigs drink with their heads sideways, so some so of the kind water- of, it runs, yeah. runs out the side of their mouth, yeah. Yep. And I see um, the pigs sometimes, uh, when we're out here, they just hit their head on there and then it yeah. goes down. Taking, taking they're, a shower. They're smart. They know what to do to cool down, that's for sure. That's what they need or they they wouldn't figure it out. So. And when we used to put the water in the black book, they used to dump it in there. Yep. Yeah, they'd push it over there and flip it. Yeah. So, but you can see the little nursery water works currently. Currently. We and also then, have another, how big diameter is that? We've got a six inch uh, PVC pipe with a cap on the bottom of it and a pig nipple on it. Uh, the only thing I got to do is cap the top of it. So worst uh, for case being used outside. I can't, do we have another pig nipple? I uh, can't remember if we bought one or if we just if we, bought, we bought two. That's how he does it. He, he itches it. And <laughs> he, I, I didn't catch that on video, <laughs> but he was scratching. He scratches against the fence and, and he was shaking. Through. The water was coming out, yep. and now he's over there. <laughs> but anyways, as I was saying about the PVC water. We have another tube that we could use. We just have to get the bottom cap and attach another, another nipple, nipple yeah. to it. That way, when we do separate them, they would each have their own. Right. And I can't remember exactly how much water that tube holds because I think it's a between five and six feet tall, isn't it? I think so. It's a five foot tall because it was a ten foot piece and I cut it in half. Um, I know for fire hose, a five inch hose holds a gallon per foot, so. So oh, that should hold it's about be, five gallons it's be of very water. Similar, yeah. So that should get them through most of the day when they get bigger. And I maybe mean, more. I know when they get bigger, they're going to be drinking more. Right. But that's not that big a deal. We're not that far from. I mean, a hundred foot hose reaches out here. So. Yeah. We. That's how. Um, we and then at some point, when I uh, get the hydrant back here by this water tank, we'll be even closer. So. Um, plans are at some point uh, I'd like to if we're staying here I'd like to trench through the center of the barn attached to that hydrant and get a hydrant out the back here so we're not running a garden hose through the barn to get to this, um, this stock tank stock tank for the cows it'll save us a lot of time in the winter time not having to coil and uncoil hose mm -hmm. twice a day because they go through that stock tank twice a day it's a 110 gallon tank and they'll They'll drink it down at least twice a day. Um, so that's a lot of coiling and uncoiling the hose, having to take the hose in. Um, so we heated. use the shower in the garage and heat that bathroom. That way we can keep the hose from freezing. Yeah, and carrying that on top of the and water a, in the, the bathroom. For I use an RV free. style blowout plug and an air compressor. So I thread that into the uh, garden hose and use the air compressor to blow the water out of the hose to try to get as much water out of it as I can when I, before we coil it. Mm -hmm. Grazing on grass just like they're, they're bred to be. Yep. Mm -hmm. so, they'll enjoy the, the new area with some more grass in there. Uh, we meant to move them a little bit quicker but weather weather okay. and, and our schedule just kind of got out of hand. Um, but now that we've got these panels here, we can plan ahead and um, it's, like I said, the heat index today is supposed to be crazy all day even oh. until almost 10 o'clock at night. So but we've got a cold front or cool front coming in. Yeah. Uh, so later this week, it's supposed to drop down into the 70s. Um, so they ought to be fine in this pen for at least a couple of days. That gives us a chance to cool down a little bit. That way I can move that pin and then move them into that next section. Um, and then once we get that done, as long as the weather stays cool, I can get them moved and the pin moved all in the same day. It'd be nice that way if I happen to be at work when they need to be moved, Brittany can pop those clips, walk them to the next part. Her and the girls can move the other stuff. Uh, nothing in there is that heavy. Mm -mm. The girls are able to move that dog igloo by themselves, so that helps. Almost. You can if you drag it through the gate. Yeah, if we drag it, yeah. Instead of lifting it over like we did today, so. But, um, 
Hope everybody enjoys the videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share on social media with all your family and friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay hydrated today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.